Hello, it is Sunday, June 18th, 2023. I'm Chris Raymond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday puzzle, which means a big, a, a big jumbo grid with a theme. So we'll have plenty to solve today in the grid and in terms of what's going on around it. And hopefully it doesn't take all too long because I have uh, a number of clues from yesterday's puzzle. So hopefully we have time for those as well. In any case, uh, comments on clues from yesterday's puzzle, I should say. Uh, but today's video has been brought to us by Noah Bizantson, Madeline Lee, Tom Nemchek, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shulmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are sustaining this channel, keeping the series going for that. I'm very appreciative. And if you'd like to look into supporting this channel directly, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve. Click the link in the description field underneath the video as well. And well, not as well. One of the two of those will suffice. And there you can find the bonus videos for patron uh, patrons and also the Daily Self Let's Check the Crosses mug specifically for benefactors. So thank you if you are a patron. Thank you to everybody who is or has, be has been one. I really do appreciate it. And um, you can also join the Daily Self Discord chat server in terms of things that can be linked, found linked in the description field. And finally, I do encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay, so let's get on to the puzzle. This is entitled My Two Cents. It was constructed by Joe DiPietro, who's constructed 140 puzzles for the New York Times. It's quite a record. And uh, it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. By record there, sorry, I didn't mean an all-time high record. I just meant his personal record of construction uh, contains quite a few puzzles. And, uh, and like I say, it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And let's start solving and see what is going on with my two cents. Something about opinions, presumably. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe there will be something about abbreviations of sense and they occur twice in words. I don't know. In any case, lamented in a way. The first thing that comes to mind to me is uh, wept. But let's see. Join, well, yes, join tightly could be wed. I lift, question mark. What does that mean? I lift. Oh, I don't know what that is. Just don't, can't think crooner in the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. I don't know. I mean, presumably I'll see it when I have some crosses, but I'm not sure offhand. Financial institution that lends its name to a Boston arena. Financial institution. OMG quaintly. Well, quaint, a quaint version of this could, could literally, in a way, sort of be egad, because that actually does refer, it derives from ye, ye gods, I think, is is the etymology of egad. So in a way, it really is a, a sort of directly quaintly version of OMG, oh my God, because they're they're both sort of saying the same thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, I lift an ego. An e is it ego boost? We had ego, it would be, I mean, we, we had ego boost literally in the puzzle just a couple of days ago. I think, didn't we? I think it was that exact phrase. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's one of our thematic clues, presumably. It's obvious the actors aren't doing these stunts. Don't buy it. Uh, crooner in the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. Oh, is Pat Boone Canadian? I actually didn't remember that. Is that true? Oh, this doesn't look right. Maybe not. Well, no, Ego Boost could be wrong. That could be wrong. Ego... I don't know. Financial institution. Oh, TD Bank. I think there's a bank called TD Bank. That TD is sort of unusual, so that looks like it's a, an initialism there. Okay, it's obvious the actors aren't doing these stunts. I'm just not seeing what it is. What many people do on their dating profiles. Do they lie? Is that what people do on their dating profiles? Oh, double... Obviously, the actors aren't doing these stunts. Okay, so you, you could have a stunt double. So that seems relevant. Double. My two cents. Oh, I'm just still not quite seeing it. Rick's last name in Casablanca. Oh, boy, boy. I haven't seen Casablanca in so long. I mean, I have seen it probably at least twice, but I can't. 
what is Rick's last name? Uh, Blair, Blaine, Blair, Crooner. Oh, Paul Anka. There we go. That's that's a, that's more correct. This is going to be a B. Paul Paul Blair. Court figure with a renowned temper. Does it mean a law court or is it some other sort of court? It could be a tennis court. McEnroe? John McEnroe was renowned, oops, uh, for his temper. I certainly remember that being true. What was it? Bjorn, was it Bjorn Borg? He was, yeah, it was famous rivalry. Okay, Rick, Rick Blaine. In Casablanca, there we go. Merit. Earn, you, you merit a, a reward, you earn a reward. City Field mascot. Is City Field the New York Mets? It's one of these things I've just kind of absorbed over the years. Let's see. I don't know. Oh. No, Earn doesn't fit there at all. Sorry. Merit. Oh, maybe this is Mr. Met. I think Mr. Met is the Mets mascot, right? So Merit is rate. You merit a reward, you rate a reward. I mean, that could be. What's the what's the catch, you could ask? So if the deal seems too good to be true. Big Apple subway initials. That's MTA, the um, Metropolitan Transit Authority. Uh, New York City subway system. Um, clothing designer Mark. Mark. Mark Echo is a clothing designer whose name I've certainly seen at some point. It's obvious the actors aren't doing these stunts. Oh, double take. What is that? Oh, oh, is it because is it because he's saying this is a take? In other words, this is a sort of shot of film featuring doubles rather than the real actors? That must be what it is. It's a double take. It's not the real actors. Okay, that must be what it is. Okay, so my two. So what are the my two cents? Is it two because it's double? Oh, a take is an opinion. So my two cents is, you know, you say I'm going to offer my two cents. I'm going to offer my opinion. A take is an opinion. We have a double take. That's my two cents, sort of, in a way. Is that what's going on? But the two is doing double duty here to mean both two cents, but also two being doubled. I don't know. We'll need to see more, more thematic answers to, to, to know if I'm barking up the right tree here. It's said to be taken upon marriage. The um, vow, I don't know. Fight. Okay, let's see. Ray and warm waters. A manta ray, maybe? Um, cartoon mister who squints. Mr. Magoo. Stop nautically. A vast, I think, is stop nautically. They hold people's handles. Could it be online handles, maybe? Usernames? I'm not sure. Draw tap. You could draw strength. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's fine. Secondary characters in gamer speak. Alts, alternate accounts. So not your primary account, but your alternate account. To be of service to is to avail. You can avail yourself, be of service to somebody or something. And hares and rabbits are really the same, same animal, some say. Game... Uh, Thinking maybe if they're game animals, but I don't know if that's, that doesn't really seem good enough. Uh, let's see. Draw. Fight. Actor Ray. Oh, Ray Liotta, who passed away relatively recently. Um, said to be taken upon marriage. The... Take the pl oh, take the plunge. I, I think I've heard people describe mar marriage in that way. Fight oh, to fight somebody is to oppose them. There we go. So they hold people's handles. Oh, name tags. You could maybe be wearing a name tag at some kind of function, and it would have your handle, your name on it. Uh, draw. Oh, in a game, of course, you could. It could be a tie game, a draw. So hares and rabbits are really the same animal. Some say game. Gamut? No, you anyway. Game time? I don't know. I don't know why I can't see it, but I can't seem to. 
natives of the Negev, uh, oops, sorry about that noise if that's coming through, um, uh, desert, right? Let's see. Journey to Mecca, the Hajj, the Muslim pilgrimage. Uh, hares and rabbits are really the same animal, some say. Um, game the... Why do I not see what this is? Sorry. Uh, skimmer over a frozen lake. An ice skate? No, it doesn't fit. Take down. Oh, jot down. You could note something down on a piece of paper. What's this over here? I don't think we've looked at this little corner. Total kvetch. A moaner. Someone who's kvetching. Who's, who's moaning. Who's complaining. I lift. It is an ego boost. Look at that. Sound effect when the stooges whapped each other would be a bonk sound effect, presumably. MIT Sloan degrees. Um, so MIT is the Massachusetts MIT, sorry, is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. This must be their business school because this looks like MBAs, Masters of Business Administration. So bids counterpart in stock trading. A bid and bid price and ask price for us for a stock uh, you know, share of a company. Uh, stock trade make difficult to find could be you stash something away, you make it difficult to find. The Iron Blank Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer from Iran. I actually have heard of this person, believe it or not. I've never seen them perform, but the Iron Sheik. Am I spelling that correctly? Yeah. Okay. Waiter, you can hold off bringing the coffee till the end of the meal. Um, serve... No, uh, hmm. I am just not catching on to this theme. Internet speed test signal. Oh, ping. Boy, I haven't heard that phrase in a while. That refer that's a latency measure of sort of how long it takes for a, you know, bit of data to be sent back and forth from you to the server, um, from your computer to the server, I think. Having serial success. You could be on a run. You could be uh, experiencing success serially again and again. You'd be on a good run. Controversial organization that filed for bankruptcy in 2021. I think that's the NRA, the National Rifle Association. I remember that occurring. Part of GPA abbreviation would be great. So GPA is grade point average. So the part in question would be average. And that in itself is an abbreviation of a bit of that abbreviation. So AVG. If you're wide eyed, you're agog. You're, you know, completely flabbergasted. A nonstop jokester. Oh, maybe this isn't, maybe I do have something wrong. Oh, so this isn't serve, it's serving, presumably. And then this would be riot. A nonstop jokester is a riot, a laugh riot, you could say. Uh, all right, so waiter, you can hold off bringing the coffee till the end of the meal. Serving. I don't know. And C55 across, Musk's position at 57 across in brief. Oh, well, this must be Elon, Elon Musk in referring to Tesla. And then he's the CEO, I assume. So put that in. Reads in a way you could scan something, read it in a way you could say. Because scan and read aren't necessarily synonyms, but you could say, oh, in a way, that's one way to do this. Lines of dedication are, of course, the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword, the ode. Can't go too long without an ode in the New York Times crossword. Alas, yes. Afraid so, you could say. Ah, alas, it's true. I'm afraid so. And if you're somewhat off, you're at, I don't know. Wool will keep you the warmest. Blanket. Wool will keep you the warmest. It could be something like blanket assurance because... You're being assured that wool will keep you warm, but it's just not remotely long enough. Double take, game. What was this one again? Hares and rabbits are really the same animal. Game theory. There we go. Okay, so a theory is a take. Or sorry, a theory is an opinion, two cents. A take is two cents an opinion. Maybe this two thing and double is just a coincidence in this case actually. 
because none of these others have two or doubles. So double take, game theory, blanket assertion, blanket, uh, blanket. I think I'm on the right track, but I can't, I can't think what this is. Uh, resource mind in Minecraft. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I barely, I mean, I played a little bit of Minecraft, like, I don't know, very soon after it came out, I think in an early form. And I, I think, or is mind in Minecraft. Well, we'll keep you the warmest. Let's see. Blanket. Reassurance. Oh, that, oh yes. Oh, wow. That, um, wait, no, I've spelled this completely wrong. Blanket reassurance. I don't know, maybe this isn't right. Blanket. No, okay, there's no way to make this work. Ah, <sighs> okay, keep going. Impassive, you could be stoic, maybe. You could put up a stoic front, an impassive front. Clipped is terse, maybe you're speaking in terse language, clipped language with short sentences and short words. Capital on the Willamette River. Hmm. I'm not sure offhand. Take weapons from D arm. You could take someone's weapons. You could D arm them. You don't really hear D arm very often. Disarm would be more unarm. Waiter, you can hold off bringing the coffee till the end of the mirror meal. All right. So serving. Take a theory, a, oh, this is recommendation. Sorry. There we go. You're recommending wool to somebody. Blanket recommendation. There we go. And that is a phrase because you, you could provide a blanket recommendation. You think it's, it's, you know, it's applicable in many situations or to many people. Okay. So capital on the Willamette River, is it Salem? And then take weapons from... Oh, serving suggestion. There we go. You're suggesting to the waiter and a suggestion or recommendation as it takes. So there we go. It's an, it's an opinion, two cents. Take weapons from is unarm. 11th century founder of scholasticism. Is it Anselm? Uh, that sounds familiar to me. That sounds correct. Resident of Westwood, Brentwood, or Hollywood. Angelino. Those are, those are neighborhoods of Los Angeles. And place to talk turkey, maybe. The deli? Delicatessen? You are buying turkey meat, presumably? Why as in Yucatan? Oh, I see. And so E, so in other words, in Spanish, Y or E for and in the Spanish language. So we don't mean Y as in the letter Y in the word Yucatan. We mean E in the Spanish language, which is spoken in Yucatan. That's very clever. Okay, Simu, who starred in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I, I actually just know this now, thanks to the New York Times crossword. Simu Liu, there we go. And then the school in Dallas is SMU, which is uh, Southern Methodist University. Okay, skimmer over a frozen lake. An ice boot, an ice, why, why, why do I not see that? Overture follower. Act one, maybe? You could have an... I guess conceivably, you could have an overture open a play, a musical overture, and then be followed by act one. Oh, but, or of an opera. You could have act one of an opera. That makes, that's, that makes much more sense. Sorry. Okay. Glinda's reassurance to Dorothy on whether her dog can also return to Kansas. Toto 2? Oh, okay. I think I've, I mean, it's been ages since I've seen The Wizard of Oz, but I can sort of imagine her saying, yes, Toto 2, Toto 2. C67 down, and then 67 down says, with 44 down, not subject to change, set in stone. There we go. Um, shares on Twitter for short, RTs, retweets. Barracks bed is a cot. You could have a cot in a military barracks or school barracks or something. Lead in to save is autosave on a piece of computer software, I suppose. And what is this? Oh, fail electrically, short circuit. Oops, I spelled something here. And what was this? Skimmer over a frozen lake. 
an ice boat? Natives of the Negev. Sabras? Oh, that's a... Is it an ethnic group? Who exactly is... Who exactly are the Sabras? I should know that immediately. Skimmer over a frozen lake. I mean, I recognize, I certainly recognize the, the word um, and it's sort of general region, but couldn't give you any in-depth in, in information. Uh, skimmer over a frozen lake. Scotland's Isle of Arran. So is this ice boat? Its capital is Jamina, Chad. And so then, are these correct? Pianist Downs, Lara Downs. I hope so. I don't know that, that pianist. And then scooping since... 1928 sloganeers. Like, I, mean, I certainly don't know that slogan, but Edie's is, um, Edie, there's Edie's ice cream. So that would be the case, scooping ice cream since 1928, I guess. All right. Well, that area came together. Um, some proper nouns in there that I'm hoping are, are correct by virtue of the ones that I do know. <laughs> so, all right. Somewhat off. If you're somewhat off, you're... They're never free of charge. Ions are always have a charge, positive or negative. Somewhat off. A bit odd? You get something's off about, about that. It's a bit odd. Red snapper on a sushi menu. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll recognize it when I see it, probably. Famed giant slugger. Wow. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't know this sort of unto itself, but um, with an O in three letters, I think it must be Mel Ott, who is one of these, certainly one of the official uh, baseball players of the New York Times crossword, uh, along with, I don't know, maybe the Alus and A-Rod, I guess is another. Okay, kid, uh, kid's buoyancy aid is a floaty. You could have a little a little floaty sort of animal or something in her, or just a armband in a pool. So red snapper on a sushi menu. Why do I still not recognize this? And if something developed and finished naturally, it ran its course. Yeah, that, that looks right to me. So Thai is red snapper on a sushi menu. Okay, that wasn't as familiar as I was hoping it would be. Being contrarian is fun. Disputing or dispute or disagreement. I'm not sure offhand. Um, art Deco is a, is a an, well, is, I suppose, an art, particular art movement and style. Uh, what well, you can't make a silk, silk purse out of, proverbially. I don't know that I know this proverb. But um, I'm sure it'll make perfect sense when we see it, but I don't think I immediately know it. To fess up is to own up. You've done something and you're fessing up. You're, you're admitting it to it. Corn Belt State is, is it Nebraska? Oh, or rather, I suppose it's not referring to one state. It's referring to an example of states in the Corn Belt, presumably. So there's more than one possibility. But with the N, I bet it's Nebraska. Smiling as members of an audience. Hmm. First name in Casablanca. Oh, Ilsa. Oh, right. So we have two Casablanca name clues in the puzzle. That's funny. Does in the forest. Oh, does. Does in the forest are deer. Right. Very good. Very good. Uh, clever clue. A bit misdirecting there. Blank rock. Uh, and infiltrator. A mole. You could have a mole in your organization, a double agent. I think a toy term coined by the uh, spy novelist, John le Carre. Smiling as members of an audience is amused? Why, why members of an audience specifically? But you can't make, oh, a sow's ear. I have heard this phrase. You can't make a silk, silk purse out of a, out of a, a sow's, sow's ear. Uh, okay. There we go. It's certainly not part of my daily vocabulary, but I have heard it before. Blank rock. Oh, acid rock. That's a kind of subgenre of music. There we go. And then what do you mean it's the pits? It's the best part of an apple. A core belief. Strange. A very strange core belief. And that's one of our theme clues, of course. So we have belief being our, our opinion, our two cents. Small valley is a dell uh, in which the farmer was present. John for Cleese, 
Oh, it was a Lou, right? This is a this is a clever little clue. So, uh, John Police, of course, the member of Monty Python, the comedian and writer. But um, here we're actually just using Cleese to refer to someone from the UK in a general sense. And a John is a toilet. So a John for Cleese would be a the Lou. All right. TV producer Michaels, Lauren Michaels, famous for um, Saturday Night Live. And I think was in the was in the recent impressive, incredibly impressive um, uh, palindrome puzzle where every single answer in the grid had a corresponding uh, had a, well not palindrome sorry had a corresponding reversal word reversal in its located in its symmetrical position in the grid and lorn and enroll were were in that. All right, windblown soil is it loess? I think is what that is. L-O-E-S-S. Four-time gold medalist in the 1936 Olympics. Uh, is that Jesse Owens? I think that's, I think that's right. Features of some bookstores are safes for holding rare books. I don't know. It seems a little much. Let's see. Banjo sounds, twangs. Maybe it is safes. One moving left to right. I'm not going to put that in just yet. Uh, one moving left to right. Mm, not sure offhand. What might get pumped up for a race? A bike tire? And high and low is creator Brown. That is a newspaper comic strip. I'm fairly certain. But I'm not sure about the name of its creator. Could be in three letters ending with a K. Could be Rick. I actually can't think of very many other possibilities. Strong link. One of the Leewards. Oh, Leeward Island is St. Helena. One of those. I hope I'm not misremembering what the Leeward Islands are. Uh, I am misremembering. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much in French. Merci beaucoup. Physicist Schrodinger. Uh, Ernst Schrodinger, I believe, and religion with circled pentagrams. Oh, is it not? Is it Erwin Schrodinger? Is this Wicca? I must have completely misremembered Schrodinger's name. Is it Erwin? Let's see. Including on an email thread, if you're CCing somebody, you're uh, including them, carbon copying them on an email thread. Easton Blank, singer with the 2009 number one country hit, A Little More Country Than That. Boy, I have no idea. Sports organization in a 1976 merger. Not sure about that either. Big Diamond, Strong Link, Curve Cutter for Carpenters. A something saw? A what, what would this be? Not sure offhand. Passionate. You're at, you're an avid reader, maybe a passionate reader. It has human potential. Ovum? Is it an egg? Maybe. Curve cutter for carpenters. I'm gonna I'm gonna be annoyed with myself for not having gotten this more quickly. <laughs> Prefix with cycle, unicycle maybe? It's mine in Italy. Uh, mia or mio. So mine just meaning belonging to me. Joan who wrote Slouching Towards Bethlehem. Well, that's Joan Didion. I certainly know that. Okay, so mio. All right. So masculine rather than feminine in that case. More than binge watch, say. More, to more than binge watch. What is that getting? What is that? I'm not even sure what that's really suggesting. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that's looking for. Be, let's see. Being contrarian is fun. Dissing. No. Dissenting opinion. There we go. Should have gotten that one more quickly. A dissenting opinion. Being contrarian is fun. It's an opinion. Uh, two cents about dissenting. Big diamond. Strong link.
High and lowest creator Brown. Right. What did I think it was? Maybe Rick? That doesn't look very good, does it? Strong link. I guess it could be Dick. I mean, that's pretty similar. Strong link. Oh, a bond is a strong link. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. One of the Lee words. Oh, it gets infuriating that I can't think what that is. Sports organization in a 1976 merger. I, I, I just don't know that. Okay. Easton. Tubin, Corbin. Um, I, I don't know. One moving left to right. Geo, geo something maybe? Uh, doesn't look good. More than bin, oh, OD on. Oh, wow, okay. You could overdose on a particular television series. You're more than just binge watching it. You're overdosing on it. Okay, I mean, I, I guess that feels like binge watching still, but I see what they're saying. Curve cutter for carpenters is, is it a coping saw? One moving left to right. This is a tough puzzle to, to close out for me today. Uh, had dinner at home, you ate in. Like some con confrontations, you could have a toe-to-toe -to -toe confrontation in person, head-to-head. -head. Funny that head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe -to -toe basically mean the same thing, even though they're referring to opposite parts of the body. Dennis's sister on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. This I certainly know. I think I've seen probably every episode of this show. And uh, her name is Dee. Smoked eel you could have, and a ring-shaped reef is an atoll. You stay here. I... You stay here. I'll go. And that must be it. Prominent figure in the O.J. Simpson murder trial. Oh, boy. Um, this reminds me of a joke that I... <laughs> remember here. This is one of those strange memories that sticks in your head forever. For some reason, uh, it was a joke that I remember being told. I was in school and, you know, I was young. I was in, uh, during the O.J. Simpson murder, murder trial. And someone, and this was, this was that era when sort of computers were kind of around, but most people didn't have one. And the internet existed, but again, most people I would wager to say most people had never used it and let alone used it regularly. And so pe people had heard of email addresses, but again, most people didn't have one. And I remember the joke that was sort of told around school was what's OJ Simpson's email address slash slash backslash delete escape. And it's, it's just such a sort of, it's, it's, I mean, it's a crude joke for one thing, and, but it also speaks to such a sort of, like a hazy understanding of what an email address is or what computers do that for some reason, it's just, it's stuck in my head for my entire life, <laughs> inexplicably for decades. All right. Anyway, prominent figure in the OJ Simpson murder trial. I don't remember. I probably will eventually. Vehicle with lower emissions is a green car, I guess. Goes for, opts, you could opt for. So this for means goes for, opts for, means we're going to apply the parenthetical word for to both the clue as well as the answer. Artist who is part of der blaue Reiter. Is it Arp? That's an artist. Was Arp part of der blaue Reiter? Um, let's see. Site that reviews tech products. Oh, CNET. Comes up in the New York Times crossword occasionally, I suppose. Uh, the computer network, I assume it stands for. Prominent figure in the O.J. Simpson murder trial. Oh boy, I still can't remember. Had a cow. Calved. Right, okay, so when you first read this, at least my first thought was had a cow is in the, the old sort of, I don't know, 80s, 90s kind of expression. You had a cow, you got incredibly upset and flipped out. Uh, but I think it actually literally means gave birth to a cow, calved. Lots have lots of them. Um, used car lots or auction lots or what? What kind of lots are these? Lots of different things lots can be. Like hot stuff. Molten? No, doesn't quite work. Use it for Thanksgiving stuffing and salt and boca. Um... What is it? 
uh, senescence, old age, or or just aging in general, maybe. Curve cutter for carpenters. It does look like coping saw, doesn't it? Let's see. What a stretched out yarn. A saga. So a yarn meaning a story. You've stretched it out. It takes quite a long time. A saga, a long story. PX clientele. Is oh, is PX where sort of military members or military families can buy goods at kind of wholesale wholesale prices? That kind of I think that's what a PX is. So the clientele could be GIs, um, you know, military members, which I think is for general infantry. Maybe not. I forget if that's what that stands for or if that's one of those common misconceptions. Anyway, what a... Hmm. Certain email folder sent. You could have the sent folder, sent email folder. What a taste. What a... Oh boy, I'm taking ages today. Like hot stuff. In the limelight, say. On stage, you're in the limelight, you're on stage. Lots have lots of them. Like hot stuff. <laughs> Just looks like stolen to me. Uh, oh, stolen, stolen, stolen goods are hot. They're stolen, okay. Keeper of the peas. Lots have lots of them. Hmm. Keeper of the peas. So it's obviously playing on the phrase keeper of the peace, but it's not really helping me. A pea, oh, pea pod. Yes, okay. A pod to keep the peas, literally a pod of peas. So lots of lots, oh, spaces. Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a parking lot. It's a car park, a parking lot with lots of parking spaces. And then use, oh, advice, sage advice, because sage is used in stuffing and salt and buck. Okay, there we go. So sage advice and the sage the herb and then beef alternative in burgers is uh, what? Too many to list abbreviation at all. Oh, Lance Ito was the judge in the O.J. Simpson murder trial. Of course, boy, I've not thought about any of these names in years and years and years. Okay. So a square could be a dork, a nerd, and then... Oh, elk. You could have an elk burger. Okay. I don't know that I've ever had an elk burger, but I suppose you could have one. What a waste, you could say. Of course, why didn't I think of that before? This was a saw. So is this an N? One moving left to right. I am not seeing what this is. One moving left to right. Features of some bookstores. Cafes? Neocon? A neoconservative? One moving left to right. Is that what that means? It's not really what I understand neocon to mean. Neoconservative. I think that must be the answer, though. But it's sort of a different implication of the phrase than, than what I would have understood. Oh, St. Martin. That's one of the Leeward Islands. Okay. So sports organization in a 1976 merger. ABA, the American Basketball Association, maybe, or something like that, or baseball, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Big Diamond. An ace. Why is that? Corbin, Easton Corbin. Boy, I'm not sure about these. Why is a big diamond an ace? Oh, as in a, a, the ace of diamonds? In a, in a in car in playing cards that must be it okay good I'm I'm fine with that now so yes there we go all right boy that really put me through my paces didn't it so let's see what are what are my two cents throughout this puzzle we had uh, did we ever I don't think we had a revealer that pointed to all of these I think we need to just find them and yes as often is the case not always but as is often the case when we don't have a revealer when we don't have a sort of clue that ties together all of the thematic elements of the grid. Um, we have these italicized clues. So the puzzle is letting us know which uh, which clues are thematic uh, through the way that they're typeset. So let's just look over them. 
It's obvious the actors aren't doing these stunts. That's a double take. Hares and rabbits are really the same animal, some say, is a game theory. Waiter, you can hold off bringing the coffee till the end of the meal is a serving suggestion. Uh, Wool will keep you the warmest is a blanket recommendation. Being contrarian is fun is a dissenting opinion. What do you mean it's the pits? It's the best part of an apple is a core belief. Use it for Thanksgiving stuffing and salt and boca is sage advice. Did we have any in the downs? I don't think we did. No. So that comprises the entirety of our two cents. And so there we have it. We had a number of different ways of discussing, uh, of sort of referring to opinions, to um, beliefs, and uh, they all were part of established existing common phrases. And that makes up our theme. So there we have it. A nice Sunday puzzle by Joe DiPietro certainly gave me a bit of a of a challenge at various points throughout. So uh, let me know how you fared, how difficult you found this one, either with respect to the theme or just with the cluing in general, with the, the, the grid fill. Um, I found it a bit tricky. And now let's discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. There are several to get through, so let's go fairly quickly. Catherine Quinn, uh, Kathleen Quinn says, once upon a time, there were go-go dancers who wore go-go boots performing go-go dancing in go-go booths. However, there was no such thing as a go-go dance. The answer at 30 down would have worked if it had been clued as a verb, but it was not. It was clued as a noun, and go-go dance did not and does not exist. And while I'm at it, the New York Times wordplay column describes go-go boots as sky-high, but they were not. They were white, chunky-heeled, and mid-calf height, or somewhat below the knee. Yeah, you're right. I can picture those in my head. Um, I didn't read the, the, I generally don't remember to read the New York Times wordplay column, but um, thank you for investigating that and sharing your knowledge and memory of that uh, entire sort of convention. All right, this is an embarrassing error on my part. Telegnostic explains the Selena, who's a big name in Tejano music, is not Selena Gomez, but rather the mononymous singer Selena from the early 90s. But Selena Gomez was named after the earlier Selena, so there is a connection. And then uh, Choral responds, Jennifer Lopez played the late singer in a movie titled Selena. And some more people commented on the life and works of Selena, the singer. So thank you for that. Apologies for the mistake. Apologies to all Selena fans for that. Uh, let's see. So Stephen Giblin, oh no, sorry, Chasmart Designs 4308 explains Ester C, which, with which I was unfamiliar, is a brand name of originally touted cold preventative vitamin C supplements. The FDA made them change their advertising practices due to unsubstantiated claims. And then to, to that end, any profit also added. This clue is a little annoying because they're just blindly repeated Ester C's marketing. Extra vitamin C doesn't do anything to boost your immunity. Obviously, you don't want to be deficient of it, but a huge dose of it will neither prevent nor reduce cold system symptoms. That's good to bear in mind. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sam Frisco comments, the ad lib clue is a play on not using any cue cards or cutting the cards. Thank you for that. I was completely... I, I didn't I didn't pick up on the pun. So cutting the cards means getting rid of the cue cards, therefore you're ad-libbing. That's very clever, but I didn't. It was too clever for me, apparently. And Stephen Giblin has a bit of context on Sacagawea, who is an interpreter and guide for the Lewis and Clark expedition. She later settled in St. Louis. While she is generally thought to have died in 1812, there are some oral accounts that indicated she may have uh, lived into the 1880s. So there we go. And that was sort of part of what I was uh, reaching for in my memory. Uh, Nix Hicks explains horse flesh is just a somewhat archaic way to refer to groups of horses, though still used in reference to riding, driving, or racing. A jockey might be a fine judge of horse flesh, dating from the 15th century. It also, of course, means literally the flesh of horses, as in food, horse meat. So yes, and now that you've pointed that out, I actually can I can sort of strangely remember having heard or read that. I uh, couldn't tell you where. But I've certainly encountered that before, but was not able to bring it to mind during the solve yesterday. All right. Thank you, as always, to everybody who wrote in. I always really enjoy those. Hope you do as well. And that's that for today's video. I'll be back tomorrow with the Monday crossword. It should be a much simpler, much smaller, but still themed crossword. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm -hmm.